you want to check out one of the funnest products that you can get for your Bamboo Lab A1, then stick around. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So today I want to talk to you about some uh, upgrades for your A1, A1 Mini, P1, X1. Um, this pretty much works with them all. Now what we have here is the Panda Nomi. And Big Tree Tech reached out and asked if I'd like to check this out. And I said, absolutely, I've been a, a big fan of their product. So this was uh, provided to me at no cost. And this isn't really a review, it's more of just talking about the product. So um, thank you to uh, Bichu Big Tree Tech uh, for providing me this. So this is the Panda Nomi for the A1 and that's what we're gonna be working with today. It comes in a couple of boxes. We're gonna go over the unboxing, we're gonna go through the whole setup, we're gonna customize it and everything. And uh, we'll even take a look at some pretty cool products along the way, some other things that they sent me. So let's get into it. Depending on the version that you order of the Panda Nomi, you should get at least the screen itself. So in one box you will find the screen only, and then if you choose to get their case and to not print one yourself, then you'll get a second box with the case. So let's take a look at what you'll find in each one of these boxes. In the screen only box, you will have the actual Nomi screen. You will have your power and data cable. Of course you get the little Panda uh, or Big Tree Tech duck, and then you have some wire cable uh, ties for cable management. And there is this little card here with a couple of QR codes on it that are for the wiki, which will give you a bunch of information as well as the latest firmware. If you order the case, you will get this clear front cover for your tool head that has Big Tree Tech on the front. You will have the backing piece here as well, and then you have a very comprehensive installation guide. Um, I've read through this. The steps are easy to read. Uh, like I said, it is gonna take you from A to Z exactly how to do this with a lot of fine detail. One thing I would like to mention is that you should set aside a little bit of time before you start this project to print out a couple of pieces. These are available on the Panda Nomi Wiki webpage, and it depends on which model you are installing this for. The Panda Nomi is compatible with all of the Bamboo Lab printers, uh, minus the H2D, at least that I know of at this point. Uh, obviously, what uh, Big Tree Tech has sent me is the one for the A1, which is what we are going to be installing today. But you can just buy the screen kit and then print uh, cases for both the P1 series and the X1 series. So I've printed out a couple of pieces. You'll see how these get used. This piece here is only needed if you are going to take apart the, uh, this case uh, once it's been put together. So this one is not needed in the installation. I will be doing a future review of this cryo grip plate from Big Tree Tech. And let me just tell you right now, this is my absolute favorite place. Uh, plate. Primarily I print with PETG or PLA and things stick to this like crazy. I mean, just look at this. It's, that is, that is really, really on there. Um, everything just sticks. You're not going to have problems with uh, bed adhesion when you're using this plate. While we're talking about how well this plate works, uh, this is probably a great time to talk about this. Uh, Big Tree Tech set this uh, over to me to take a look at, and this thing is just cool. Um, I'll put a link down in the description, but this is the Panda Edge Magnetic Scraper. So, you know, you can print your own. Um, I've told you how much I use the uh, scraper from Bamboo Lab. But uh, this thing is pretty cool. It is just, it's got embedded magnets. It's made out of aluminum. Um, so you can, you know, stick it to your machines and always have it nice and ready. But uh, let me tell you, this thing is just pretty darn cool. It uses the same scraper blades as the uh, Bamboo Labs or that is available from Bamboo Lab. But uh, man, it feels good in the hand. It's just kind of fun to use and Thank you so much. Um, definitely recommend it. You know, if you like 
just a high quality tool, then you can't go wrong with this. Okay, let's get into the actual installation and putting this all together into the A1. So again, here we have the screen and um, if you know anything about the Nomi, it's been around for a while. Um, it's been used on other printers, but they've adapted it for use on the Bamboo Lab. So in this little case, we have the screen itself. There is a little power cable that won't be needed um, for this installation. And then we have a nice little Big Tree Tech sticker. So we'll get this out and we'll put it into the case. There is a protective cover over the screen. So we are going to remove that and then simply place the screen following the little plastic guides. That's gonna snap right in there. And then we have this backing tab. You can see it's got instructions on it. it looks like this part is going to, uh, or actually it's going to slide into that little slot there. And then we will pop this down into place. And now we have this all installed and it is ready to go onto the printer. We just need to prepare a couple things on the printer itself. So we are going to go ahead and remove this front cover. So this guy just pops off and then we need to remove this little wheel, which just pulls straight off. And then our first order of business is going to be to route the power cable right through this hole here. This cable will easily pop right through here and then we are going to do a little bit of cable management in a moment. Once we have that run, it is just as simple as connecting that cable to this little connector here. It is keyed, so it will only go in one way. That is going to pop in right like so. I've got it backward. Like I said, it's keyed, so it'll only go in one way. That is going to pop in right like that. And then we are ready to reassemble. And this snaps here at the top. And then we're gonna pop that on and our installation right there is now complete. Our next order of cable management will take place right up here. So we are simply going to install this piece, which is one of the included pieces that you can print. Notice there are these tabs on the top, so you want those to be toward the top, and they've put a slot in this piece so that it's very easy uh, to deal with the cables. You can push them all through here, and then this will sit on top. And now you have an extra guide here on the side for the power cable that is going to the Panda Nomi. Now we're going to move up our cables and we are going to replace these that have uh, just enough slots in them for the uh, tool head cable and the four PTFE cables. So it's got five slots in it and we have printed these which have an extra slot. So we'll go ahead and just put in all of our cables there. And we still have one left over. So that one's gonna come over here. And right now, the last time I used this, I was using my external spool holder. So that's why you see one that is not included. The final connection takes place at the back of the unit into your unused four pin connector. Now, if you already have something connected back here, this one is going to my AMS light, but if you have their lighting upgrade or some other um, device that's plugged in back here, then you can use the uh, Panda hub to get an additional port. So we are simply going to plug this in if I can line it up, there we go. And now our final connection is done. Now we'll just take care of some final cord maintenance. So we'll use the included zip ties here to secure the power cable. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put one up here 
and then I will put another one. We'll run this down the side along with the pre-existing cables. So we will tie that there. And I'm gonna leave these a little loose until we've actually run the printer and made sure that everything is working properly. Um, and then I'm going to add one more toward the bottom just to keep everything nice and tidy. Now that we have all of our connections made, we're gonna go ahead and turn on our A1 and it is time to bind and connect our printer. So this is mostly going to be done via Wi-Fi. So it says, please scan the QR code with your camera app to configure the network for Panda Nomi. So let's go ahead and do that. And isn't that just as cute as can be? And scan that code. Okay, now that we have our Wi-Fi connected, we will go into the binding mode. So we are going to select, we are going to scan for our printer. And it has found both of my printers. I'm gonna choose the A1, so it puts in my serial number and the IP address, uh, which we are going to blur out. And then we are going to shift it down to our screen here. So, on the A1 screen, let me zoom in there a little bit. If we go to settings and I believe LAN only mode, I can find my access code, which I'm going to type in here and then hit bind and we are now successfully bound and we now have a different screen on our pandanomi so now we can start to configure this as we would like to use it so on the phone i'm able to put the printer or the nomi uh, into preview preview mode and then I can take a look at each of these. And so you can see there it shifts over. It says preview mode. That is my standby uh, GIF, my nozzle heating, my bed heating, bed leveling, homing, nozzle cleaning, calibrating flow, XY mesh mode sweep GIF, or GIF, filament check location, filament cut, filament pullback, filament push, printing OK, and our printing. So it comes with a bunch of really cool GIFs already. Um, you do have the ability to, let's say, uh, that is my printing, so I can go ahead and change the color on that if I would like. Uh, let's go. There we go. So, if I want to change the colors, if I want to have a uniform theme, then I can change uh, the color, and it gives me the... Uh, hex code of that color so I could make these all exactly the same if I so chose. But I'm gonna change just a couple things to make this a little more fun. Now before I personalize this, there are a couple limitations to know about. So one is the GIF size. So 240 by 240 is the maximum size of the animated GIF that we wanna use. And then each or no single GIF can be greater than 1.5 megabytes and all of the GIFs combined must be less than three megabytes. So 
Now that we know that, I'm gonna come over here to giphy.com and I did a little search here for zero two because I think that would be a fun animation. So we're gonna go ahead and download that. And then we'll take a look and we can see that that's 471 kilobytes. And then the size of this is probably not ideal. So I'm gonna come over here to easygif.com and I am going to upload that and we are going to resize it to 240 by 240 and we will resize that and now we have this and it is one megabyte still a little large we could uh, probably optimize this a little bit and once we get that done we will put it into our nomi Okay, now that we have a new GIF, I'm gonna use that 02 as our printing GIF, and we will go ahead and I rename that to 02 Dancing, and I got it down to 324 kilobytes, and it is uploading, and then we will see if it works on the Nomi. All right, we are back here at the printer, and we can go ahead and I've already reconnected it to the uh, Panda Nomi Wi-Fi. I can turn on preview mode, and we will go to the preview, and there we have it. We now have a 02 gracing the Panda Nomi on my A1. All right, so there you have it. What do you think? Um, I'm just thrilled with this product. I think it's pretty cool. Now, who is this for? Um, you know... There's a lot of us that really love the Bamboo Lab uh, printers because they just work. You don't have to fuss with them. You don't have to change out parts. You don't have to upgrade. But some of us, you know, deep in our core, um, we're modders, we're tinkers, we're upgraders. That's kind of where we cut our teeth on a lot of this directed technologies. And this was fun. It was a, a nice, simple upgrade that only took, you know, 20 or 30 minutes. Uh, to set everything up and get it installed and get it running. So it, it kind of harkens you back to that that tweaker, that tinker um, mindset without having to, you know, rip things completely apart and go crazy on there. So it's a really affordable upgrade. Like I said, you can you can get this for not only the A1, but you can get this for the P1. You can get this for, for the X1 as well. Um, those versions do not fit on the tool head. They're more of auxiliary displays, uh, kind of like the uh, Panda Touch, but um, those are available. So I will put affiliate links down in the description. Um, I It's not going to cost you anything more if you just decide to buy one of these and I get a little bit of money out of it. It helps support the channel. So if you're at all involved or in, interested in these, the uh, Nomi with the case for the A1, like I showed you here, is $44.99. Um, this super cool tool right here, the Panda Edge, if you want to pick one of those up for yourself, that runs $19.99 if you want to get three blades included. You can spend a little less if you already have the blades and just get a single blade uh, version. And then like I mentioned, I think I misspoke. Um, if you, for your A1, um, if you already have the AMS Lite connected and then you have something else in your other port, then it is the Panda branch that you'll need to expand, uh, give you more uh, connection points on that. And then they also recommend that in various configurations for the P1 and the uh, X1. So you can take a look at their website. They, they lay it all out there. They tell you exactly what you need. But the Panda branch is $21.99. So again, I'll put all those links down below. This is just a fun, a bunch of fun stuff that you can get from Big Tree Tech. So I would appreciate it if you would take a moment to hit that like button, hit that notification bell, and please join the almost 3,700 folks that have decided to subscribe to this channel. As always, I enjoy the time that we get to spend together here on Directed Tech. I should take this hat off. I'm not really a hat guy, but I really love this hat. If you haven't checked out my uh, latest video on the... Uh, uh, making the hats, then check that out. But anyway, um, I appreciate the time that we get to spend together. So let's just keep on learning, burning, printing, and growing together. Take care, everyone.